Hey, 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 it's your girl Candy, and I am here with my sister's recap. <laughs> Season 7, episode 19. Listen, what the flock? Why are all the men in this show flicked it? Yeah. Jordan. Episode starts two one to one and a half two weeks later he looking cuckoo could you he look like he done been through ran through some shit he 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 gets a phone call from his sister from penelope she's talking to him and letting him know that everything is going to be okay you need to calm down you know it's all good i i i need you to do this you know you started out running your campaign Keep going. Keep going. Don't stop. And he lets her know that that he and Andy broke up. She lets him know that it doesn't really, they don't sound like Andy. Like, what's going on? But he lets her know she broke his heart. So she still, you know, she encouraged him to keep on win the election and win Andy's heart. Win, win, win Andy's heart. We get raggedy Joe and and raggedy Tom pull up playing games outside in the pub in a neighborhood, blowing the horn, trying to get this dude to come to the Y'all, how old are y'all? Y'all at like y'all 14, 15 years old. I can't see a 20-year-old doing that, blowing the horn. First of all, why Jordan window down? Second of all, why y'all blowing the horn outside the man's house? Y'all grown. What the hell? That was so stupid, so ignorant. I'm like, who blows a horn in somebody's house? When they go in the house, they see that, you know, Jordan is looking, he done been through, ran through, been through some shit. That's how he looked. But I didn't like the conversation they had with him. I did, I didn't. Tony and Rich. Well, Tony, I got some for you. Tony gonna sit there and say you lost your bitch, so you became one, or some to that effect. Some ignorant shit he said. Some ignorant shit. Now it's ignorant as hell now. And look at you. What's wrong with you? Gonna get you some ass. What kind of friend are you? What kind of friend are you? I need Tyler Perry to write the friends. Everybody can't be ignorant. We need the friends to be better, if not the main the main characters. Like shit. I'm cussing. I ain't mean to cuss like this, but I'm cussing. What the and then Rich with his need to stay out of um uh, need to stay out of Sabrina's ass is gonna try to agree with him, but he take it back. How you agree with him and take it back? No, stand on it. If you agree, agree. But if you don't, don't. If you want to hold Jordan down, hold him down. Do that. These, I tell you, these ninjas make me upset. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Tell him, you, Tony, really? You, you tell him to go get some ass. So, so, so is that what you want the ladies to tell, uh, 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 what's her name? Shit, what's the guy's name? <laughs> Danny? That what you want me to tell Danny to do? To go get some ass? Or give her ass up? When y'all break up? Immediately? That what you want? And Tony? What's up with you? And why, why, you got, why you got a heart on for Andy so bad? Andy for Andy. 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 Like, who, does, who is Andy? Like, who are you? Who is Danny? Worry about your house. Worry about your house and how you got your ex-wife upset under sell them bad ass kids, them thief that thieving ass daughter you got. That's what you do. That's what you do, Tony. You worry about that. But you you can't worry about that. Cause you know that's a problem, a sore spot, you don't want to deal with it. So shut up. Mind your business. And Rich, leave Sabrina alone. 
But I'm glad you want to say, you know, hey, back off Andy a little bit. I, I'm, I appreciate that. So, Sabrina, so Sabrina, we finna just let this man be our sperm donor, Mr. Damani. So he lets her know that he has the article for the company and um, she loves it. And he thinks highly of her. And um, he also asks her about, you know, the sperm donor. And he offers his sperm, y'all. He was a sperm donor back in college. And I think they'd make great babies together. I think they would be beautiful babies. But what, what kind of effed upness would the babies have? I don't know. Because, sir, Demani, don't nobody know you. And Sabrina being Sabrina interviews him right then and there and asks him for a damn baby picture. Now he does like her. He's he's into her. However, however, what, what, what is gonna make what y'all gonna make of this? Y'all gonna be dating or something? Or or because I can't see this, I can't see this working out right. What's, what's gonna happen? Hmm? You just offer your sperm to somebody? It's out the blue. Like you don't even know this man back. You know what? Candy, shut up. All right. Miss Marie with her big nasty ass. Cause yeah, I'm calling her big nasty. She's in the law office. At the, well, I'm sorry, we at the law office. Miss Marie walks in and threatens them to let you know she's gonna take her business to another firm because Andy ass and Hayden's ass hadn't found nothing. However, Aiden did find that her husband has cheated on her with her assistant. And a hundred and hundreds of thousands of dollars have been moved around and transferred to stand the third. This that and the third in the girlfriends in the assistant's name. Girlfriends, assistants, whatever you want to call them, or whatever. And Miss Marie wanna know why Andy on mute. Letting hand Hayden do her job or, or, or show that he's been working. But anyway, Miss Marie wanna know want Hayden to meet her in his office. What's some extracurriculars? That's after Andy leave out, of course. You know, they ain't not going to let nobody know that they hunt you. And he going downtown. He putting his face in a place. So disgusting. So Hayden goes home to Meredith, welcomes him with a kiss as if she knew he was doing something or if she was doing something. I don't know when people be all too iffy and on you like that. Well, what you done done? What's wrong? What you want? Because something ain't right. But this here for kiss him and pull out a nasty gray hair out of her mouth. That shit was so disgusting. I said, oh, oh, oh. what? You pull a pubic hair out of your mouth, which came from your husband. So, Hayden, you be putting your face in Miss Marie place for real, for real? Yeah. For real, for real? That don't be your mama. That's so disgusting. Disgusting. Oh, Lord. So we get to the baby shower, y'all. Maurice want to know why it looked like Pam and the Roots to Riches or whatever it is, Rags to Riches, is, is sponsoring this company. Or is she peddling her products? We over here at Fatima and Zach's house. Fatima is worrying about going to the baby shower for the fiance who was the baby daddy to another woman. And he responds that he ain't never seen himself in a situation like that either. <laughs> and funny that Fatima would say, um, I feel like a clown. <laughs> Something like that. She put that makeup on and she was funny to him. Oh, Jesus. So Karen... Y'all know I go by people. I don't go, I don't go by scenes. Because I ain't gonna be all over the place talking about this shit all day long. Karen. We see her. I say, why Karen look like a five-year-old fairy? fairy. All she needed was some damn diamonds and glitters around her eyes and some wings. That was an effed up dress. That shit was ugly as hell. Who did that? Why? And why? And why? Because see, I ain't been mad at Karen with them black dresses on because shit, that was her uniform in my opinion. She worked in the salon. Salon, some some of them have uniforms. I didn't mind her wearing a black dress. And she could change the style of the dress. But, you know. Anywho, that damn purple, I'll fly away. 
fairy dust dress. Why? Why? Who put that on her? But anyway, she's not happy. She's in her feelings or whatever. Mama let her know that, you know, she has a strong support system and everything's going to be all right. All right. So we get to the shower. Mr. Zach meets Mr. Zach. Zach meets Tony and Rich for the first time. And uh, I think they ask him for advice how to deal with the women. And he tells them to expect the unexpected. What the hell is that? It's all he can give them. Expect the unexpected. Okay. I guess that means keep your head on the swivel and stay on your toes. Anyway. Um, Danny and Fatima's, you know, catching up. And Danny was just wondering how Fatima's doing. I think Danny needs to make sure she gives that energy to her friend Karen as well that she does Fatima. Later on at the baby shower, Karen is, you know, emotional. Talking about people coming to support her and her babies. Miss Andy is late as always. And we find out that Danny hasn't heard from her in two weeks. Nobody's heard from her in two weeks, pretty much. Hell, Fatima ain't even know she wasn't with uh with El DeBarge no more. So anyway. Y'all, why does Zach look like Suge Knight? Zach's outfit was hideous. Who dressed him and Karen and Sabrina? Sabrina looked like she was secret service for the Easter Bunny. What the? F what is going on here? Is that like Shug Knight? I ain't lying. I ain't lying. I ain't lying. If, I, if I'm lying, I'm flying. I'm too big for that. I ain't lying. Zach looked like Shug Knight. He looked like he just got out of prison. Who put them clothes on them three to the this episode who did that to them i was upset that was that was that was that was this that was disrespectful so we always we find out that uh the both of the babies are girls zach has a girl aaron has a girl y'all fatima was pissed but i didn't think about it until i watched it again i'm like oh he already has a son so you can't give him his first son. And Karen is giving him his first daughter. Ooh. I was like, well, she can name him Junior, but nah, nah, nah. These two was here before y'all got married or whatever, before another baby. Nope. Sorry. I don't know if I would be dealing with Zach shit, though, because she's always putting herself on the back burner, her feelings before everybody, and 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 she's down and she's she's suppressing her real feelings and i understand how she feels because you don't really want me to hurt people's feelings but she sometimes you gotta let this shit out and fatima gonna bust one day she really gonna bust this is too much for, this is too much this is too much i don't see how she's dealing with it i, I swear for lord i don't karen surprisingly asked danny and sabrina to be the godmothers of the twins danny i get sabrina but Danny, you trust me? Never mind. Say, I had to learn you should let your children pick their godparents. Because what if your child don't like that person? What if, what, it's honest. What if you're, what if, you, what if you, this because you like your friend, doesn't mean your child is going to like your friend. And if something happened to you, your child is supposed to go live with this person that they don't like. Because they may not like the person. I'm just saying. Listen for the people out there that having kids, hadn't had kids. Don't pick godparents. Let your kids pick godparents. Okay? Let your kids pick who they like. Because who you like, they might not like. I'm just saying. Think about it. Don't argue with me. Just think about it. Ooh, we so we get um uh 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 oh yeah karen talks to fatima and thanks her and let her know that you know she's she's you know gonna play a role in her baby's lives and she's happy about that because she sees how good she is, is with michael which is a grown boy but two babies is two different things anyway whatever and and that she holds zach accountable okay anyway um 
Karen and Fatima talk later on. They move away from the crowd. They go into the kitchen, and then they talk, start talking about Andy and, and, and Jordan. And then all of a sudden, Karen says, "Well, you know, they broke up." Lord, the elevator open up, and the devil himself walks through the door, y'all. Who's the devil? Gary. told Zach to put a muzzle on your bitch. Zach said, you got one more time. See, a real man wouldn't have let him do that because he would have put his fist in his mouth. Because you ain't got but one time to do that. I ain't finna give you a chance. Because see, Fatima was ready to rat on that ass. And sh as she should have. But see, Zach should have popped him. Y'all be giving Gary too many chances around these parts. You got about 10 people in here that can't stand this ninja. Why y'all ain't jump him? Except for Karen. Why y'all ain't jump him? Because he Karen pretty. But why y'all ain't jump him? Why y'all ain't put him down? Maurice, why you ain't put him down? Y'all should have put him down like a mangy dog. Because see, two people in this show is winning. It's Gary and Hayden. You know why? Because they get every damn thing they want. Everybody else got problems except for them. And they are the damn problem. But all the men on the show is a problem. But Gary and Hayden are the real problems to other people. They are like damn terrorists walking through the streets of Atlanta. Hey, how y'all? Y'all, I almost forgot. See, I didn't got upset again. Y'all, y'all see uh, Andy and Gary are engaged. Well, I'm sorry. Gary is engaged to Andy. And 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 y'all don't pay attention to this pink suit that looked like the soul and left his body. Like, like the life been sucked out of her. Y'all not paying that no attention? G Gary snatched her to him. Did y'all, y'all caught that? He want to invite y'all to the wedding. What wedding, nigga? Ain't nobody, ain't, ain't, ain't nobody. You know what? I think Penelope and Jordan, I, I think, let me calm down. Cause I, let's see, I done had to record this. I don't want to record this no more. See, I be talking too loud. Andy. And I mean, Jordan and Penelope, y'all. I, I think they might be plotting. I really do. I think they plotting. I don't think that sisters and brothers in real life. I think they might be plotting on Andy. Because ain't no count damn way in hell I got to marry Gary ass over for Jordan. The same Jordan. Hey, shit. <laughs> Throw it on the honor the bus. Honor the bus, he go. Where you want him to say? Where you want him? I don't know you like that, Negro. I'm not a ride or die. Uh-uh. I ain't riding, I ain't dying for nobody. I'm not riding in the backseat of a cop car, and I ain't dying for your ass, no. Not me. I got your back, I hold you down, but I'm not doing that. So I don't, you know, I don't even really think Penelope and Jordan sisters and brothers like that. I don't really think so. Yeah, they might be dating, who knows, shit. But you know what? This it's a plot that Todd came to set us up with the bullshit. I think that's what it is, y'all. Anything grand, anything grandeur, outlandish, wild. That's Tyler Perry. Typical Tyler Perry. What else should? What? what why are we tripping? Why are we expecting something else? If it's outlandish and over the top and off the cliff and all below sea level, down there by the Titanic, where everybody be trying to go, that's Tyler Perry. Way, way out the way. He go way out the way to prove a point or to do something. That's what it is. I'll holler at y'all tonight. Catch me tonight, 9 o'clock. Me and Monique Johnson, 69. Mix 69, Wade Johnson. We gonna turn up on sisters, okay? The episode didn't give us nothing, but it gave us something. And it gave us enough to talk shit about. I'll holler at y'all later. Please like, share, and subscribe. This is Candy Loves Talk TV. I'll holler at y'all later. Bye-bye.